This week's tip is about cutting the cake. I never ever thought when I became a wedding planner to ask the bride and groom if they plan to use a fork, if they wanna use their fingers, if they're gonna smash the cake in each other's face. I never really thought that I needed to bring it up. I just thought that it was something that happened. Well, after a kind of negative situation happened, I ask every single client at their final meeting when they do the timeline, what their plans are with the cake cutting. What happened was the bride and groom were in front of probably about 300 people at a country club wedding and they get up to cut the cake and they cut a rather large piece of cake and when they exchanged the cake and they used their hands, the groom proceeded to smash it all in the bride's face. And not only did it just get all over her face, it got in her eyes, it, it literally got in her eye. It got all down her dress and it was chocolate cake. And it, it really just went everywhere. It was completely uncalled for. I could see a little bit of fun cake smashing, but not like that. And so she immediately started crying. Thank God I was standing there because I took her by the hand and I said, come on, let's go to the bathroom. I'll clean you up, it's no big deal. And while I had her in the bathroom, she was crying, she was embarrassed, she had chocolate all over her dress, she had it in her dress, in her eye. So it took me a good probably 10 minutes, which seemed like eternity, like an hour to the guests that were out there. And while I was in the bathroom with her and one of my team members was out there, the dad approached the groom and starts screaming at him and says, how could you do that to my daughter? Is that how you're gonna treat her for your marriage and the rest of your life? It was just a really uncomfortable situation. So a lot of the guests left after the bride came out, people hugged her, told her, thanks for inviting me, have a great night. They had a, a 12 piece band, a seated dinner, and the band was a complete waste of money. Not a lot of people stayed because they were so uncomfortable and she wasn't the type of person to just laugh that type of thing off. Some clients could, but she wasn't. So again, I would suggest just based on experience, always ask, always ask, what are you gonna do when it comes cake cutting time? And you can kinda see if they're playful and I always share that story with my clients when they seem like they're gonna smash the cake into each other's mouth. Um, because I don't ever want a, a groom to be approached by a father of the bride and we have to have that negative situation. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.